Well, actually, it begins uh, in 1914, a few years before, when the licensee of the Crown Hotel, which was on the corner of Neil and uh, Margaret, he decided that he would uh, extend his hotel and build uh, a theatre. He called it the uh, Crystal Palace Picture Garden. And in 1915, 16, he decided he would enlarge it. This time he employed uh, a Brisbane architect named Addison. And he designed this one uh, with the, it had a biograph bulge out towards Margaret Street. It had the lovely lady, the statue. Uh, it had beautiful stained glass, which is still to be seen uh, with vines and red flowers. What you see internally at the Strand now, um, all the internal designs and decorations, are still Guy Crick's work. What you see at the front is where the way it was right from the very moment it was constructed. And then as you, it's, it's funny, we look at it now as a time warp, but as you walk into the theatre, the inside of the theatre is more than 1930, so Art Deco. And then when you walk into the theatres, you're talking modern. The, the, the pressed metal ceilings, when we had the open house here last year, there were people, probably for the first time in their lives, looking up and, yeah. and just amazed at all the freezes and the vents on the side. Even the, the balustrades, yes. you know, yeah. around, they're yeah. all uh, original Art Deco. You, you don't get better than that. Where we're standing now is at the dress circle, balcony, so this is where people used to traditionally sit, um, like I was saying before, the, the rich people. And if you have a look around to your left here as we pan over, you can see this is looking across the foyer into over to where the screen used to be. So you can see the proscenium and the ram's horn uh, motif up the top. And then below that is where the entire screen was. Further down below that, the stage used to slope downwards a lot more, and there would be an orchestra pit right down the very bottom, virtually below where the toilets are now. No one really knows. It's a mystery as to who the lady is. Some people thought it might have been based on Sienara Spencer, but she didn't come into the picture until the last minute, so it couldn't have been that. In the end of the day, it would most likely just be part of a feature, a, a figurehead for the building. But I, I, I do know of a story in the, around the 80s to do with, at one stage, the Strand building got a bit of, bit of paint, a bit of a touch-up, and there was a particular painter who thought he'd use a bit of creative license, had a little can of red paint for the lipstick for the lady, and um, also put a, 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 a discreet uh, dot of red paint around the female chest region of that lady. <laughs> and uh, didn't last very long. So I think within a few days, it was quickly painted all over.